If you've ever suffered from chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, chances are you've come across the medication called a prepotent. This comprehensive guide aims to unveil the various aspects of a prepotent, including its uses, side effects, recommended dosage, and mechanism of action. A prepotent is a powerful antiemetic drug commonly prescribed to prevent nausea and vomiting caused by highly emetogenic chemotherapy. By targeting the receptors in the brain responsible for triggering these symptoms, a prepotent helps patients tolerate their cancer treatment more comfortably. In this guide, we will explore the medical uses of a prepotent, including its effectiveness in preventing acute and delayed chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. We will also dive into the potential side effects associated with its use, ensuring you have a complete understanding of the drug's potential benefits and risks. Additionally, we will provide insight into the recommended dose and administration methods to ensure optimal effectiveness and safety. Furthermore, we will explain the mechanism of action by which a prepotent works in the body, shedding light on the science behind its remarkable antiemetic properties. Join us as we uncover the comprehensive details of a prepotent, empowering you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your health care. Uses of a prepotent a prepotent is primarily used in the prevention of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting CINV. Chemotherapy drugs often trigger the release of substances in the body that stimulate the vomiting center in the brain, leading to the common side effects of nausea and vomiting. A prepotent, classified as a neurokinin-1 receptor antagonist, blocks the action of these substances, preventing the activation of the vomiting center. In addition to its role in preventing acute CINV, a prepotent has also been found to be effective in preventing delayed CINV. Delayed CINV typically occurs 24 to 120 hours after chemotherapy administration and can significantly impact a patient's quality of life. By inhibiting the neurokinin-1 receptor, a prepotent helps to alleviate symptoms during the delayed phase of CINV, providing patients with a more comfortable recovery period. It's worth noting that a prepotent is not limited to use in chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. It has also shown promise in the prevention of postoperative nausea and vomiting, making it a valuable tool for managing these common side effects of surgery. Overall, a prepotent plays a crucial role in improving the quality of life for patients undergoing chemotherapy or surgery by effectively preventing and reducing episodes of nausea and vomiting. Mechanism of Action of a Prepotent To understand how a prepotent works, it's essential to grasp the underlying mechanism of action. A prepotent belongs to a class of drugs called neurokinin-1 receptor antagonists. The neurokinin-1 receptor is found in high concentrations in the central nervous system, including the brainstem, which is responsible for regulating nausea and vomiting. When chemotherapy drugs are administered, they can stimulate the release of a substance called substance P, which binds to the neurokinin-1 receptor, triggering the vomiting center in the brain. A prepotent works by blocking this receptor, preventing substance P from binding and thereby inhibiting the activation of the vomiting center. By interrupting the neurochemical signaling pathway involved in nausea and vomiting, a prepotent effectively reduces the frequency and severity of these side effects. This mechanism of action makes a prepotent a valuable tool in the management of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. It's important to note that a prepotent does not directly affect the chemotherapy drug's efficacy in treating cancer. Instead, it focuses on enhancing patients' comfort by alleviating the distressing symptoms associated with chemotherapy treatment. Recommended Dose of a Prepotent The recommended dose of a prepotent may vary depending on the specific chemotherapy regimen, patient characteristics, and the presence of other medications that may interact with a prepotent. It is crucial to follow the prescribing physician's instructions and consult with a healthcare professional for personalized dosing recommendations. For the prevention of acute and delayed CINV in adult patients receiving highly emetogenic chemotherapy, the typical recommended dose of a prepotent is 125 mg taken orally one hour before chemotherapy, followed by 80 mg once daily for the next two days. It is usually administered in combination with other antiemetic medications, such as a 5-HT3 receptor antagonist and dexamethasone. In pediatric patients aged 6 months to 17 years, the dosing of a prepotent is weight-based. The recommended oral suspension dose is 3 mg per kilogram for the first day and 2 mg per kilogram for the next two days. As with adult patients, it is usually used in combination with other antiemetic agents. It's important to adhere to the prescribed dosing schedule and complete the full course of a prepotent treatment as directed by the healthcare provider. Skipping doses or stopping the medication prematurely may decrease its effectiveness in preventing nausea and vomiting. Side Effects of a Prepotent like any medication, a prepotent can cause side effects. 
However, it's important to note that not all individuals will experience these side effects, and their severity can vary from person to person. Common side effects of a prepotent include fatigue and weakness. Some individuals may experience feelings of tiredness or weakness while taking a prepotent. This side effect is generally mild and transient. Nausea and constipation. Paradoxically, a prepotent, which is primarily used to prevent nausea, can sometimes cause mild nausea or constipation. These side effects are usually temporary and can be managed with appropriate supportive care. Dizziness and headache. A small percentage of individuals may experience dizziness or headache while taking a prepotent. These side effects are generally mild and resolve on their own without intervention. Changes in taste. A prepotent may alter the sense of taste, leading to a metallic or bitter taste in the mouth. This side effect is typically temporary and resolves once the medication is discontinued. It's important to notify a healthcare professional if any side effects persist, worsen, or become bothersome. They can provide guidance on managing these side effects and determine if any adjustments or alternative medications are necessary. Drug interactions with a prepotent. A prepotent can interact with certain medications, potentially affecting their effectiveness or increasing the risk of side effects. It's crucial to inform the healthcare provider about all medications, including prescription, over-the-counter, and herbal supplements, before starting a prepotent. One significant drug interaction to be aware of is with the CYP3A4 enzyme system. A prepotent is metabolized by this enzyme system and can inhibit its activity. Consequently, a prepotent may increase the plasma concentration of drugs that are primarily metabolized by CYP3A4, such as certain chemotherapy drugs, hormonal contraceptives, and immunosuppressants. This can lead to an increased risk of side effects associated with these medications. Additionally, a prepotent may interact with medications that are substrates, inducers, or inhibitors of CYP3A4. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional or pharmacist to determine the potential for drug interactions and the need for dose adjustments or alternative medications. Precautions and warnings when using a prepotent. While a prepotent is generally well tolerated, there are certain precautions and warnings to be aware of when using this medication. These include pregnancy and breastfeeding. A prepotent should only be used during pregnancy if the potential benefits outweigh the potential risks. It is not known whether a prepotent is excreted in human breast milk, so caution should be exercised when using a prepotent while breastfeeding. Liver impairment. A prepotent is primarily metabolized by the liver, and caution should be exercised when using it in patients with moderate to severe liver impairment. Dose adjustments may be necessary in these individuals. Pediatric use. A prepotent oral suspension is approved for use in pediatric patients aged 6 months to 17 years. However, the safety and efficacy of a prepotent in children younger than 6 months have not been established. Geriatric use. Elderly patients may be more susceptible to certain side effects of a prepotent, such as fatigue and dizziness. Close monitoring and appropriate supportive care are essential in this population. It's important to discuss any pre-existing medical conditions, including liver or kidney disease, with a healthcare professional before starting a prepotent. They can provide personalized guidance and determine if any precautions or additional monitoring are necessary. A prepotent FAQs. Can a prepotent be used alone to prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting? A prepotent is typically used in combination with other antiemetic medications, such as a 5-HT3 receptor antagonist and dexamethasone, to effectively prevent chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. The combination therapy provides a more comprehensive approach to managing these side effects. How long should a prepotent be taken for preventing chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting? The duration of a prepotent treatment may vary depending on the chemotherapy regimen and individual patient factors. In most cases, a prepotent is prescribed for the duration of the chemotherapy cycle, typically spanning several days. It's important to follow the prescribing physician's instructions and complete the full course of treatment. Can a prepotent be used for other types of nausea and vomiting? While a prepotent is primarily indicated for the prevention of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, it has also shown efficacy in preventing postoperative nausea and vomiting. The use of a prepotent for other types of nausea and vomiting should be discussed with a healthcare professional. What should I do if I miss a dose of a prepotent? If a dose of a prepotent is missed, it should be taken as soon as remembered. However, if it is close to the time for the next scheduled dose, the missed dose should be skipped and the regular dosing schedule resumed. It's important not to double the dose to make up for a missed one. Conclusion and final thoughts. 
A prepotent is a valuable medication in the prevention of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Its mechanism of action, recommended dosing, and potential side effects make it an integral part of managing the distressing symptoms associated with chemotherapy. By inhibiting the neurokinin-1 receptor, a prepotent effectively reduces the frequency and severity of acute and delayed chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. It is typically used in combination with other antiemetic medications to provide comprehensive symptom control. While a prepotent is generally well tolerated, it can cause side effects such as fatigue, constipation, and changes in taste. It's important to notify a healthcare professional if any side effects persist or worsen. As with any medication, it's crucial to follow the prescribed dose and complete the full course of treatment for optimal effectiveness. If you have any questions or concerns about a prepotent or its use, consult with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized guidance and support. Thanks for watching.